We all have wish lists of things that we would like to have in a new home and things that are absolute deal breakers. And if you're a big old nerd like me, it will be neatly organized on a spreadsheet. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let's jump into the 10 things to keep in mind when creating your ideal home list. All right, quick fire, let's start with the house itself. Number one, size of the house. So think 10 years out. Are you expecting to add to your family in the future or welcome a relative into your home? You'll wanna make sure you have room to grow. Number two, outdoor space. Need a yard space for dogs, kids, or for a garden? Or are you more of a concrete patio will do? No outdoor maintenance for me, thanks. Number three, repairs. Your home inspector will give you a detailed breakdown of the age of everything from the roof to appliances to give you a loose timeline of when things will need to be replaced or repaired. Is a new roof in the next three to five years a deal breaker for you? Number four, layout. Do you need everything to be on one level? Would you prefer the kids' rooms to be close to the master bedroom? Or maybe there are ways that you could switch up the layout to work for your family's needs. Number five, utilities. The size of the home will be a key determining factor when it comes to heating and cooling costs. The more space, obviously the more area there is to heat and cool, which will affect utility costs. And now let's take a look at the neighborhood. Number six, schools. Think ahead 10 years. Again, how would you feel sending your kids to the elementary, middle, and high schools that your house is zoned for? Number seven, proximity. Do you wanna be close to parks, restaurants, and shopping centers? Is being within walking distance important to you? Number eight, noise level. Do you like being right in the middle of the action? Then maybe being near a major road or airport or in a more densely populated neighborhood is great for you. Or do you prefer the peace and calm of being further out where all you can hear are crickets and your wind chime blowing in the wind? Number nine, public transportation. Would it be helpful for you to live walking distance to a bus stop or a metro line? Or do you travel exclusively by car and could live further out? And number 10, pet friendliness. Are there sidewalks around your neighborhood for walking your pup or even a dog park nearby? And a good rule of thumb, if applicable, always be sure to check your HOA guidelines when it comes to pet restrictions and adding fences or any type of outdoor enclosures for them. I hope you found this video helpful as you begin your home hunt. And don't forget, before you go to open houses, you'll wanna get pre-approved for your mortgage first to stay ahead of the competition. So visit homespiremortgage.com to find a Homespire loan officer near you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you have a burning mortgage related question, leave it in the comments below and maybe your question will be featured in a future video.